Hey guys, welcome back to Nintendo Treehouse Live at E3, day three. Well, I'm here with Eric Smith, and first time we're seeing Chris Pranger up here. He is here because he is our Treehouse Star Fox Zero he ace is pilot. The man at this game. And so, he's no about to. We've no shown pressure. some Star Fox Zero gameplay, but uh, he's about to show us how to really push that R Wing to the limit. I am going to do my best because yeah. I've seen a lot of people play out here in E3. And it's tricky to learn the controls right away because they do take some taking uh, some getting time to get used to. Right. Since you got to learn to fly with one stick and then aim around with the gamepad, and so it's like you, it's just a whole thing. It was a whole hard. thing. Why don't you get right, get right it into up, it? I was like, man, I am terrible right at this game. But it took a little time, you know, a couple times through, and like it just clicked, and it feels yeah. really good. And man, it, once it clicks, it clicks, and you can do some really cool right. stuff. And that's, that's what enough Chris talk. Let's show off. Let's jump into this. Let's make this happen. All right. So we're gonna open the wings, and we're gonna start this. And uh, you know, it's one thing to get through a Star Fox mission; it's another thing to get through it with a sweet, sweet high score. So Chris is gonna sort that's of. True. See if we can set a new show fuller record here on Corneria. Be better. So the main thing I'm going to be focusing on here is effective braking, uh, charge shots, and like hitting combos. Because if you charge on and you, you lock on to an enemy, you'll actually hit and get more damage if it takes out like a bunch all at once. So I'm actually going to be looking at the gamepad a lot so I can see directly in front of me. Right. Yeah, because right. otherwise, like, the, the art wing is kind of obscuring your view a little bit. Yeah. And every time you see him get that hit plus two, that means he not only got the score for shooting down those enemies, but he got a bonus score. And that's the key to really racking up those big scores in Star Fox games. It's not just taking down the enemies you see, but taking them down in those charge shot combos. Right. Yeah, anytime you can take out a group of enemies, you're usually going to get some sort of score bonus. Yeah. Oh, nice work with the oh, break there to break. snag that gold ring. So it's really tricky if you're just using the gamepad because you kind of lose the scope of like where you are in relation to things. Right. And so that's why it looks like I'm bouncing off of everything is because I'm too focused on the gamepad. And so you really have to learn to use both effectively. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like to think it really sort of feels like I don't know what it's actually like to fly a plane, but it's cool because like it's like if you're in a cockpit and you look with your head over to the left or right, right. you're able to like take a lot more view than like normally you would get from just like a third person perspective when you're really having to move the whole ship to shoot. Sure. Sometimes something will pass by so quick that it kind of disappears from the TV screen. But if you were, you know, zip to look at it with the gamepad through the cockpit, you could still actually hit them. Yeah, and Chris is doing a great job here breaking to sort of rack up the combos. Because uh, this is like, a, this style of co uh, mission is like, it's, it's not on rails, but it's, it's guiding you through a thing, but you have a lot of control within that. Right. Um, and to really take everything out, you have to do a great job like boosting and braking and going up and down and really sort of seeking out all of those enemies that you wouldn't necessarily have to destroy to get through the mission. Yeah. Um, but if you're playing for score attack, then you really got to rack it up. Oh, nice barrel roll, Chris. He's got two of those gold rings. He's looking for that third one. I know yeah. where the third one is. It's a little, little ways into the stage. See, I've already missed some enemies because I'm not paying attention. Because <laughs> you're talking. I'm talking. And oh, here, nice, nice I can actually take down at least one of these little guys there. Good See, floor. I got one of them. You can't lock onto that guy in the demo, so you got to know he's there, so right. you're really taking him out. All right, phase one is complete. Nice work. 124, not, how does that rack up? 124, are you looking good right now? It's not too bad. The demo goes to 150 as a high score. Yesterday I tried it out and my final score was 201, which is pretty respectable, I'd like to say. Well, That's I think at good. this point you just put the pressure on. If you don't beat 201 here, I think. Uh, Switching to all range mode. Here's where I can start really getting some, some extra combos. Because there, you all, all I have to do is knock down ten enemies here, but I can shoot down many more than just ten. Like I've already hit the ten, and they're gonna start leaving. But, but as they're leaving, oh, nice. I can start still shooting them down. Like so, yeah, they're retreating. Yeah. But they're not getting away. Oh, that's. That one guy was like, he was like, I'm free. I'm a, I made it. You know. <laughs> all his friends are. Not, though. 
But I think one got away. Normally, it'll be like a dozen. So not really honorable, but we're going for high scores. There's no honor in high scores. <laughs> There's no honor. Andros himself, I don't think, has any honor, so. While I'm here, I might as well go get that last oh, goal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Complete that little. Yeah. All three. Nice. I'm ready for a little, uh, I'm waiting for a little something, something, Chris. I think it might be time to. I really love using the precision aiming for these. It's like I want to fly over and then just shoot straight down. And it kind of gives me that. It, I feel like I'm flying over and like shooting straight down in a bombing run. Right. I love it. And there like should be some more guys crawling from over here. So is Peppy actually helping you here, or is he just kind of flying around in circles? Because it seems like you're doing all yeah. the work. And running around as the walker is pretty effective here, because it's easy to fly over one on accident. Right. But this allows you to slow down and kind of... Exactly. Yes, way to go, exactly. <laughs> all right, phase two is complete. No, oh, that, that must be it, huh? 185, 185, that's pretty, that's pretty hot. Still, I, I got some more combos in uh, phase two, but I did miss a lot in phase one, and for that, I am eternally shamed. <laughs> I noticed you didn't pick up that laser pickup. Are you already at full I already strength? got one. Yeah, I already have my hyper laser, so nice. I'm good to go. Let's take down that enemy ship. Okay, now I really want to use the gamepad for this, because on the TV screen, I have the target view. And what's really fun here is I can take down the lasers, but I can turn into the walker and just run around the top Whoa. and just kind of mess Use around, there, like shoot down their little cannons here. I know, I feel like when Andros built this ship, he didn't oh. land on the walker. Yeah. I feel like Star Fox is one step ahead of him with the walker transformation. Get some rings up here. So are you still getting hits for those? No so those on ones, top? no, the turrets won't give me any hits, but they will give me silver rings uh, to re replenish my health if I nice. want. Let's see if I can get some missiles to follow me. Yeah, this. Look uh, at that cinematic action. <laughs> I love it. I love watching the. There's a lot of moments in this when uh, you're really focused over there on the action, and like as a viewer, it's just really fun to watch the way it plays out because of the sort of the way they mix in all these different perspectives and points of view. Okay, now where are those missiles? I don't think I'm going to have any missiles following me, so I'm going to go ahead and just try to finish this. Oh, oh. oh. took a lot of damage, but you know wow. what? I'm going in. I'm finishing this. This guy thinks he's going to get away, and he's not. Unacceptable. <laughs> So, so I gotta go. I gotta go fast because the more, the faster you destroy a boss, the more hits you get as a result. Wow, that's pretty quick. Looks like you played this before. A few times. All right, that boss is down. Boom. That should hopefully have given me ten. We're looking. I get the plus ten. Yes. Nice. <laughs> so I don't think I'm gonna hit two a one or better. So, so you're going to get like 197, which maybe, maybe 198. That's not That's too weak, bad. Man. It will put I'm me scared. on the top here. And I got mission accomplished because I cool. went inside. That's yeah. how you and do it. Alternate way of beating the boss. Out. You could yeah. just take him out from the outside, but you, you know, went straight to the core, basically. I'm fine. I did. You okay over there, Fox? It's really satisfying if you play it through a few times and you shoot down the quadrants and he gets away, you're like, oh man, like I'm gonna get you later, but then you realize, no, I can get him now. Yeah, it's cool how the, that beating the boss in that different way like actually affects the storyline. I mean, he actually, you actually destroy it or you see him, like you said, fly away. Yeah. So 198, Chris, oh, that's, you that's promised us 201, but, but I think that's still pretty good. You took really first good. place on our leaderboard that's here. That's miserable. I mean, I already had 201, so, so this is pathetic. This let's is hop right into a uh, awful. So, <laughs> go ahead and so hop hard. right into the next mission. We're gonna keep it moving right. here. Let's do it. We're going to jump to Area 3. Yeah, we're, we're going to have a space dog fight. Yep. In all range mode. I know. It's going to be Chris versus Pigma. Uh, I'm excited for this one. I'm going to see how fast I can do this because I've seen a lot of people struggle 
because you know dog fighting's hard, but if you know how to use target view, you can really mess them up fast. Let's head toward the colony. And you want to take out some of this debris. One of these, one of these pieces of debris actually has a a hyper laser. There we go. That's the one I want. Okay, now we're set. This is Operation Cheese. I did not the even pig. know those, the, that laser I didn't was know there. That. I played through this like 10 Let's times. I love offensive. this all range mode, how your wings like <laughs> lock to the outside. Okay, so for early on, we're just shooting down as many enemies as possible. Oh. I'll even fly into an enemy. Without. I don't even care. That's how Star Fox rolls. Sure. Also, like that. Ha! Ah, barrel ah, rolls. Ha, ha, ha. That was pretty good, actually. Thank you. I write for the treehouse. <laughs> so all I have to do is keep shooting down. If I take too long, Pigma will show up, or I can speed it up by shooting down enemies fast. So now right. Pigma's already here because I shot down over 15. Uh. All right, where did Pigma come? Pigma, where is he? Well, Pigma here? fought Eric on day one. I, I think that I think that Chris is going to bring a little more heat. There he is. I think he is. But hey, man, that's that's totally fine by me. Okay, so normally you just see like where did he go? Well, if I use my target view, I will constantly see where he is. And this is where I just keep him. Like he's not wow. going to be able to get away from me yeah. at all. He's like looking just at the target view and like taking him out. Not even having a reticle. He's just like, I want to see you beat him with a, like a some sort of a charge shot combo though. Really working him over. Pigma has no chance right now. Yes, oh, I wanted that I shot. Oh, that, that little awesome. cinematic yeah. like that slow so down cool. freeze frame. Oh, Boom. That's it. I've never nice. actually seen that. So you took him out super quick, so you got plus 30. I got hit. plus 30, because yeah, 30. pig that was worth huge. a lot if you take him down fast. Yeah. That's how you cheese a pig. <laughs> <laughs> no chance. That's so that's how effective target view can be in these all range mode situations. Yeah. And, it, and you talked about a little bit at the outset, but it's and it's 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 not that it's necessarily quick. To the like colony. that diff it's like not difficult to master the different control styles, but it's giving you so many different sort of tools in your arsenal and the way you can take down the enemies that it's just sort of mastering them all and then figuring out how to like piece them all together in different ways because yeah. each mission really you can you can use or not use those different techniques to really advance your play. Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, that was awesome, Chris and. So those are the two, for you guys watching home, those were the two missions we have here, Playability 3. If you guys were here in the audience or you're gonna be at the booth later, maybe you saw some techniques you can use. Um, and we have another treat here. We have, uh, Chris is gonna play through one of the missions that is playable, uh, that the developers brought um, sort of for us to play here on Treehouse Live. They're still in development. Um, but we're gonna be, Chris is gonna be taking us through Titania. Yeah. Uh, and this is a really special one. This is really cool. It's gonna be the Landmaster. And this is one that we actually saw, if anybody was watching day one, we had Mr. Hashimoto, the director of the, Game at Platinum Games. Uh, he played through and really did some cool stuff. So Chris is going to sort of take his shot for the second look at Titania. This level is fantastic. Just I love that you have all this debris being thrown in the way, and some debris is being thrown that still has active cannons on it. And then they start shooting at you. Yeah. Like right there. And the Landmaster plays differently, obviously, than the R-Wing where I can actually lock on to three enemies at once if I hold down the charge shot, and I'll fire missiles as opposed to just normal normal shots. Here now I want to be using my uh, aiming reticle, aiming straight up. And I want to be using a hover here for really effective gameplay, aiming straight up at these guys' weaknesses. Because they're they're pretty tricky to shoot down. Oh, you missed that one. Like they they have a lot of shielding all around them. So if I'm at the wrong angle, they'll just bounce around and still do damage to me. Right. Yeah, I think that one got past you. I don't know where he where he's going now, but I'm gonna go cause some trouble somewhere. And so Thanks, like buddy. right now, it's easier for me to turn into the grab master which is my alt form. Similar to the walker, I can just fly around. Well, that's depleting your, your uh, boost bar it down is. at the bottom. 
And here, like, it's kind of dangerous because I didn't have as much mobility for those crazy buzzsaw type enemies. Which seems like Andros should just fill his whole army with those. Because in Corneria, <laughs> they just showed up and cut through, like, four buildings. Just <laughs> meow. That was it. Like, that's, that's so devastating. It's scary, man. It's like a... Psycho, psychological warfare, you know? It is. Okay, Slippy is in trouble. I need to really motor to start helping him out. And Slippy may... Okay, he got away. Usually, I don't let Slippy get away. And what's tricky is, like, if people maybe aren't familiar, it's similar to uh, classic Star Fox. Slippy is actually your mechanic of the Star Fox team. And he's the one, when you get to a boss fight, actually analyzes their... It gets you their uh, their gauge or their hit points. So if, if you if Slippy had not gotten away there, you actually would have had a bit of a disadvantage when fighting the boss. Yeah, he everyone hates on Slippy, but you need him to see the boss's hell, and he <laughs> is useful in a lot of missions. So uh, I'm a personally I'm Team Slippy, and actually it was interesting day one. Mr. Miyamoto actually mentioned that he was gonna he loved Slippy and was sad that Slippy didn't get a to be featured in the digital event. So. It's nice that you saved Slippy there to, to highlight him here on Trios Live. That was just for Miyamoto, oh. and I wanted to get grabbed just to show that I'm being pulled in. But, I mean, come on. They're not taking me down. <laughs> uh, here, I can shoot down a lot of these uh, environmental hazards here. And some I can actually shoot and drop down on other enemies as a result and do extra damage to them. That's pretty slick. Like, if I try shooting down uh, that thing behind it, like, I can take it out or just, like, knock one into it. I like those giant robotic, I don't even know what they are, antelopes giant or something. Giant robotic poodles yeah. over there. You, you say poodle, I say antelope. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn into my grab master. Is it up here? No. Uh -huh. There's a hidden thing somewhere. Oh, it's oh, over there. The oh, it's over there. Oh, oh I missed it. Juice. So I wanted to fly up there and I get saw, that medal. I saw what you were looking for there. What does the medal do? Oh, we don't know yet. Stay tuned. Some more of these enemies are popping up. I actually don't know where all the gold rings are in this stage. So that's that's something to find out. You got well, two you got out of three, three right now, so not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, that was phase one. Now we're gonna go into the boss fight with the scrap worm. Pepe. So in this mission, Peppy was lost and we had to go find him. And there he is. He was just hanging out in the sand. <laughs> Maybe because there was a scrap worm. <laughs> this is one of those moments in this uh, Star Fox era we've been seeing so far where like, they've done a lot with the game, but it makes the scale of the game feel that much bigger. There's moments that sort of shrink the action down to like sort of a microscopic view when you're in the walker, like inside of a boss or inside of an enemy base running around. Or there's these moments where everything like pans out and it's really big and sort of has this really big feel, and I love that. It really makes this whole experience feel just like fully fleshed out. Like you really are like deeper into the Star Fox universe than you've ever been before. Okay, so he's got me. So I have to shoot that core before he gets him real any damage on me. And he'll have his little damaging weak points pop up. Which, I mean, enemy health care has to be awful because they just have big glowing like sores all over their body <laughs> all the time. Maybe that's why they're always attacking the heroes is because the heroes have better health coverage. <laughs> like, oh, no I heroes don't moment. have love flashing weak points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Andros has a little work to do figuring that out. I love this moment, too. This is so cool. Get out of there, Chris. Look at him right up in the mix. No fear. No fear. I have good health coverage. <laughs> Just barrel rolling away from away from danger. Oh, he's gonna... it's about to happen there. All right, I think this guy he has no chance. He's getting wrecked. Don't count him out yet. You never know. 
I'm rooting for him personally. Well, who wouldn't? I mean, he's the underdog, but <laughs> he's not going home to his scrap worm family. <laughs> <laughs> That's cold. It's cold, but space is cold, man. <laughs> 107. So, yeah, 107. so that looks bad, but that's in development. I assure you, that was the best score that, anyone that was could really, get in that, that stage. Really you did miss that medal, though. So I did miss the medal. The medal, legs. maybe the medal gives me like 400 hits, <laughs> and that puts me over the top. And it's like, ooh, you're really good at this. That was maybe. really cool. I think that was a fun taste of, uh, you know, like I said, some of the missions we have playable on the show floor. Uh, a taste of one that's still in development, and it's pretty exciting to see the different ways that they're taking this game. Um, you know, we also, if you guys missed the segment, I encourage you guys to go check out uh, On Demand, the segment we did with the developers, uh, Mr. Hayashi, the director of the game at uh, Nintendo, and Mr. Hashimoto, again, from Platinum Games. It was really cool to hear those guys talk about some of the thoughts behind that. Um, yeah. They showed us Zonus 2, which, again, we're not showing to right now, but it's, uh, you guys can go check it out. And it shows a stealth element of the game, and this show, you know, this, we've seen some action levels. There's a lot going on here. Thank you guys for checking out this segment. This was Star Fox Zero uh, here with Chris and Eric. I'm Morgan. Thank you guys. Stay right here. We're going to be right back with another segment.